welcome to another meatless Monday in my kitchen. <laughs> Today I've got meatless meatloaf for you. Mm. And it's vegan, soy free, gluten free, and totally delicious. A few simple ingredients, let's get started. A complete list of the ingredients is in the bottom bar. Two soft cooked sweet potatoes, one cup of quinoa cooked in two and a quarter cups of water, eight ounces of mushrooms, I have a few varieties here, a box of frozen chopped spinach, four slices of gluten-free bread toasted so that it's dry, one red onion, four or more cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, four green onions, these were locally grown and they were huge, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, some tomato ketchup, and for a sweetener I used agave but you could use brown sugar, and of course salt and pepper to taste. So you start by chopping up your garlic and your red onion, I just peeled it and sliced it into eighths, I'm using my ninja just because it's easier, you don't want the pieces to be too small. After you do the onions and the garlic, just add in the mushrooms. Boy, I'm really making a mess over here. Uh, again, don't make it too small because you don't want it like silly putty. You want to actually see some of the pieces in there. Get your pan hot, put in a little squirt of olive oil, and start by sauteing what you've just chopped up. Just a little bit, not too long. You don't want it to be too mushy. You just want to release some of the water from the mushrooms, otherwise the meatloaf is going to be too soggy. Once it's ready, just put in a nice splash of balsamic vinegar and your salt and pepper. The vinegar is going to give it a lot of flavor, bring out the flavors in the onion. Then add the uh, spinach. It might help if it's thawed out already. <laughs> I was in a hurry, so I just uh, did it right there. While that was cooking, I chopped up my scallions, and I also chopped up the sweet potatoes. I didn't want it too small. I wanted to be able to still see the pieces, and of course I chopped up the bread. Again, not too fine. So basically, this is one big dump loaf, <laughs> but they can't call it that because it wouldn't be very appetizing. I'm basically adding all of the rest of the ingredients. You can do this in a bowl. I've, chose to, uh, I've chosen to do it in the pan because I didn't want to have to wash another bowl. So everything went in and nope, not time to mix it yet. You still have to put in the ketchup and the agave. That also is going to give it a lot of flavor. If you don't have agave, you can use brown sugar, uh, coconut sugar, even regular sugar will do in a pinch. Now you're ready to mix it up and make sure it's well combined. And I'm using a 9x13 pan. I'm going to put a little ketchup and agave on the top as well. I'm spreading that out. If you want to half the recipe, you could also do this in a uh, loaf pan. Now you're going to want to pop it into the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes and this is what it looks like when it comes out. Alright Mark, how is it? It doesn't have the consistency of meat at all. Okay, but other than that... <laughs> it doesn't taste like meat either. Okay. It's okay. I bought that it's one. Alright, thank same you. Alright guys, so you saw Mark testing the uh, meatloaf the meatloaf and it was good uh, I wasn't really going for meatloaf because it was vegan so it's kind of hard to get that texture right when you're doing it vegan yeah so what'd you think of it I thought the taste was really good it was very delicious mm -hmm. um, I have to agree with that but I have to to uh, piggyback off of what you said yeah <laughs> it wasn't so much a meatloaf just like the consistency the texture was different the taste was different but I liked it for what it was. Yes, I'll have to agree with that. Yeah. So I hope you guys try it. Uh, very healthy. Love a lot that of good quinoa. stuff in there. Yep, clean eating. And uh, 
try it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up, because I know you did. And until next time, join me in my kitchen. Much love.